Hello everyone and welcome back to Stories, The Path of Destiny with Ran Yekumo. Let's move on, shall we? Episode. The transcendent emperor had wrapped an armature around the eye of a god. Bernardo had already let that armature slip away to save Lapino's life. But even its core, the eye torn from a god, surely they could fashion a great weapon from that. The core of the Sky Ripper? Lapino's excited. That's an actual pin that we can just go and get. He's been busy. He sure had. Renato told him all the things he'd been up to. Soon they got to talking about old times, about wages they'd won and lost, and scrapes they'd barely got out of. It was good to be back with his friend. Yay! Renato grinned. He had a very good feeling about this. It's good to have a good feeling, right? Right? Let's hope so. Hmm. Anyway, shouldn't take long. Maybe next time I'll make the cut in between loading. Probably a good idea. <laughs> Something like that. Anyway. Come on. Come on. Load already. Jeesh. Oh, speaking of which. I hear the music. That's something, right? It's beautiful here, thought Renardo. He was thrilled to be back with his old war buddy. He'd missed the mad rabbit. But something's, something's not, not quite, quite right. right. Ooh. Hello, Mother Rabbit. Let's see. Can I? No, I suppose not. Okay. Yay, test. We Okay, that's really slow. I might have turned on the graphics a bit too much. Let's see if that helps. Ew. Really should improve my computer. Seriously. Oh, so there's a path that way. Interesting. And then there's this fridge. Think I will try to take the side path. Yay! Who needed bridges anyway? Well said. Okay, so it's just that these things move slowly, which means I can just go ahead and get this back to high. Thank you very much. 
Okay, and that is... Oh, a teleporter, because why not? Well, it's... Sí, cierta way. So, sure. Uh, why not? I probably should have, have checked the other path first, huh? Okay, where am I now? I just want to jump down the magic well, so... Everything's bound to be alright. Right? Right? Of course not. Oh, chest. I wonder what I can make of all these sword crafting materials, thought Gennaro. Let me guess, a sword. There was something sour in the air. Like the earth had ruptured over something that had been fermenting for a very long time. Yeah, no king. Chest. I'm finding a lot of chests now. That's probably good. Maybe. I should pay more attention. That's better. Phew. Bernardo felt wrong all over. He could feel an almost palpable sickness in the air. And if the land could have tumors, it would look like these monstrous crystals. The forest was quieter than it had been. There were insects, but few birds. If you didn't count the ravens. Bernardo smelled sick animals and dying ones. No mm. dying ones. I'm getting a bad feeling about this, Bernardo thought. Maybe Latina was right. Maybe they should have kidnapped Zenobia instead of coming here. Maybe. Oh, hey. There's a couple of red spots on your feathers. Oh, wait. Not yet. Ow. <sighs> yeah, you really should pay more attention to the markers, huh? Feather. Ow. Ew. That was really close. Yeah, this doesn't bode well at all. Is this it? As he held the radiant icosahedron, Bernardo felt queasy, like dozens of tiny worms were nibbling his insides. It wasn't Ew. healthy to be so close to the eye of a god. How could he use it? He could take it to the observatory. The scientists there could tell him how to harness its ancient power. But honestly, 
Renato ached to get away from it. He brought the core back with him to the Farfarer. But honestly, Renato ached to be rid of it. Tell you what, said Lupino. I'll take it to the observatory. You attack the Imperial outpost. The Imperial outpost was a vital communications node. Taking it could shatter the Empire's ability to coordinate. That sounds good. It would be full of secret plans and maps and maybe even rebel prisoners. It was a good target for a hero like Renardo. But what if Lupino got the core and then broke it or lost it? Or worse, was Renardo ready to take that risk? Maybe it was mm. better if he brought the core to the scientists himself. Interesting. Yeah, probably. Trust me, Renardo, you won't regret this. I'll treat the core like it was my own baby daughter. As the Farfarer dived towards the Nexus, Lupino was jumping up and down with excitement. Stop rabbiting around, Renardo said. Lupino just stared. <laughs> the moment the ship landed, Lupino leapt off the ship. Okay, interesting. So yeah, this has been Ranja Kumo with uh, Stories of Destiny. Of Destiny, so I hope you had fun and don't forget to hug fluffy tails.